Hey guys, Angler here. Welcome back to Fantasy Star Universe. In the last part, we found out Karen's been kidnapped for God knows why. And in this part, we're gonna head to the flyer base and check out whatever area they think Karen was brought to. Assuming I can even remember where the flyer base on this planet is because it's ginormous. Well, we got our cutscene, so I did something this right. This just keeps getting better and better. You know, people probably think we kidnapped the maiden. I'm sorry if I'm causing trouble. Let's just hurry and get aboard a shuttle. You there. <gasps> Hold on a minute. <gasps> What's up? I was gonna ask you that. Where are you headed? Huh? Oh, um... <laughs> We're on our way to the Shikon Islands for a class project. Shikon, huh? What are you gonna study there? We are going to observe the, uh, evolution of the fauna there. Right, Ethan? Huh? Oh, right, Ooh. exactly. Hmm? <laughs> Wait a moment. <laughs> yeah. Can't you let us through just this once? Come on, you wouldn't mind us doing a little biology research Really, on? Maya? No. Uh, of course not. Uh, go on through. <laughs> uh, have a good trip. Thank you very much. God, that was Let's so go. shameless. Huh? Like... Well, whatever. We're able to go, so let's go. I like that there was actually free missions I could have done, but I didn't choose to do them. I guess probably because I only care about doing the main story. So they're talking about, I guess, the enemies. Well, it looks like we have our help. It's the merchant. No lessons. Let's just go for a ride. Well, I kind of understand how this works. Basically, we're just riding across the water right now. Oh god, I didn't know we had to deal with mines. Well, it looks like they're nice enough to leave items on the road for us. Oh god, your turning is so tight. Normally that's something you'd want to be grateful for, but like... Oh god. You turn way too quickly. Like... 
Unless you're just tapping the control stick, you're gonna fly all over the place. Well, that was luck on my part. I don't know how I avoided that. Well, anyway, we're at the next section now. Okay, so I definitely have to go past those guys. God, that's such a weird pattern. I could go for the money or the spikes. Which one would be better? Feels like such a bad racing game right now, like... The controls aren't good. Mm. That's actually all I have to say. It's just so weird. Fortunately, the obstacles aren't really a threat. I mean, I've taken, like, no damage from them so far. Yeah, well, screw you too, mines. In fact, I love how they just have landmines everywhere, like, they knew we were coming. Like, nobody's that smart. got to keep steering. Well, that's just a cheap shot. I guess the boost was supposed to help you blast past them, but I didn't even need that, it seemed. Yeah, that's perfectly fair. I can't actually move while I'm checking the map. Going backwards now. Let's go back the way I came. Know where I can go that way, it seems. There we go. Oh, 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 come on. Really? So I guess this thing just operates on different health. I mean... I guess that makes sense, but... Did they really need to give this thing its own health gauge? Because rather than taking damage, I guess there's just a certain amount of times you... Well, can hit the mines, and if you hit them too many times, that's it, your game's done. I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's cheap, because you don't know exactly how many times you can hit something before you blow up. Like, I get it by free and once and died, but... At first, I didn't really have a problem with hitting stuff.
At least if you fail here, it just brings you back to the start, rather than counting as a game over. I mean, not that there's a whole lot to sit through should you get a game over at that point, but... Needless to say, it's still not fun by any means. Oh god. I guess this game hates physics, like... <laughs> yeah, because when I smash into a wall, I should still have my booze. Let's not get nuked by the triple mines. Oh, sweet. Well, I mean, whatever. It's not like I needed the boost anyways. Oh yeah, I remember why I got lost there now. Because I went in a circle here, and I think I just did that again. Yeah, just went in a circle. Am I really stuck here, or...? Oh no, I'm not. That pathway is just way too... Oh no, I went completely backwards! Yeah, screw that. I'm really not liking this right now, like... The controls are bad, the place is a maze, and... To make things even better, you're not even allowed to check where you're going, because having the map on and accelerating are conveniently on the same button. So if I want to move, I can't check the map. But if I can't check the map well, I'm moving. That's not a very good thing. Anyhow, that area is just one giant trick, too, to make you get lost. I like how it didn't blow up, yet I was going, like, straight into it. Don't tell me that was basically a shortcut to the start. Where's the map? At least I think I know where I want to go. Still, wasn't it nice of them to show us that it's really, really hard to figure out where to go? Yeah, that took way longer than it should have. Not gonna lie. Hmm. I really think that you should try harder. Well, it's not exactly the most straightforward thing.
So now here we are at block B1. Huga. <laughs> Huga. I think it's Huga who got served for once. Anyway, there isn't a save point here, so we can keep going. I wonder what we'll have to fight here. Oh yeah, that's really high damage! So I guess something I didn't know about the way fighting works in this game is that your photon points are tied to your weapon and not your level. That's interesting, I guess. Oh god, freeze ogres. Well, fortunately my attacks are really high damaging now. Thanks for the heal, Maya. I mean, it didn't really help much, but... Okay, that was good. Okay, let's see what's down here. I like those are just random doors here. Oh, great. There's a swarm. And a gate. And Rising Crush leveled up yet again. Still, it's nice to know that my attacks do like tons of damage. But it looks like these guys can spam freeze just like the other ones. Well, great. A bunch of those guys spawn now. Oh, great. I really need to heal. There we go. Like, their attacks are so powerful now. And all they do is spam moves that can freeze. At least Maya instead of seeing them back. What is that thing supposed to be? Annoying. I can't even stagger it!
thought they were being funny and like literally standing where it is. Okay. Now that is not fair. I mean, I know they'll come back eventually, so whatever, but... Ugh, they just respawned. Now that's the definition of a pain. Didn't help that my friends were being stupid and decided to just... Stand right beside it. What was doing that stupid ice thing? Because standing beside an enemy while it's doing its most powerful attack makes sense. So I guess we can't go that way. Or this way either. Oh, okay. Sure. Just spawn behind me, I don't you. Still gotta kill this one. There's the key. We're good. I'm surprised Maya's actually trying to heal. Usually she kinda just sits around. Oh, and it looks like there's another key we need. I love it when this game tries to make me find keys. Fortunately, I think the other key doesn't require a bunch of kills. Okay, seriously, where are the other targets? Oh, a teleporter, okay. Oh god! I really hate these stupid flower types. They leveled up. It also helps that they stay stunned for like ever. If you can get a hit, it'll stun them. Okay, there we go. We can open the case. the enemies in this game just get more and more obnoxious as it goes on like they aren't even difficult to kill rather than they just need to be as annoying as they can oh great spread them apart why don't you First time I've actually ran away from enemies. Or not, I'm gonna go have to go back to fight them anyway. Sorry for thinking this was an alternate route and Really? Flower types? Love to pop up at the absolute worst times.
I've actually exhausted all, most all of my photon points against them. And because they recover so ridiculously slowly, it's photon charge time. There we go, they're all dead. And that gives me a key. I mean, not that I was fighting them for a key, but it's helpful. Oh, 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 come on. I'm just gonna keep attacking until it goes down. This thing of high defense or what? At least it's down. No way ever these guys. Thanks for the help. Oh god. I can't even stagger those guys the way I want to. actually trying to move in while he's spamming that. Oh, okay. Sure. Whatever. a melee attacker's worst nightmare. Like, it's just going to sit there and spam that, and I can't do anything but spam heals against it. They might give a lot of experience, but... I mean, Photon Arts aren't effective on it at all, which really do not help things. Well, they're nice enough to give us a save point, so I'll end this part off here. Next time on Fantasy Star Universe, we'll get further through the forest and hopefully to the base where Karen's being held. I'll see you guys then.